Bonjour everyone. My name is Shikha Nayar and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to solve the lesson number 4 of Apprenant La France method 1 book. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's begin. So we are going to do today lesson number 4 of Apprenant La France method 1 book. So let's firstly see what's the name of the lesson. So the name of the lesson is Devine. Devine means guess or let's guess. Now let's see what we are going to learn in lesson 4. In lesson 4 we will be learning les fruits et les légumes. That means we will be learning about the food, fruits and the vegetable vocabulary. Then we will be doing les nombres from 21 to 100. That are the numbers from 21 to 100. Then we are going to do a very very important concept that is qu'est-ce que c'est and qui est ce. These are the questions and we will be learning the replies to them also. And last is le vocabulaire that is always there in each and every lesson. So let's see. So these are the first two pages of the lesson. Now before reading out the text written on these two pages, we need to learn the grammar concept that is there in this lesson. as well as we need to learn some vocabulary as well so let's begin with the vocabulary so we are going to learn now some vocabulary words that are used in this lesson let's first begin with bon anniversaire bon anniversaire means happy birthday merci beaucoup merci beaucoup means thank you very much say say means it is or it's cadeau cadeau means gift livre livre means book sasso sasso means these are gentil gentil means nice ami ami is a friend then chaise what is a chaise chaise is chair garçon that's a boy vélo vélo is a bicycle napoleon napoleon is a famous emperor of france now let's learn the concept of what is this or what are these so if i want to ask in french what is this or what are these in french then i just have one way to ask this these two questions that is qu'est-ce que c'est so how are you going to ask what is this or what are these you will just simply say it as qu'est-ce que c'est Kes ke se. You also repeat after me and say kes ke se. Now the reply to these questions are three. Either you can reply it as c'est un, or you can say it as c'est une, or you can say it as ce sont des. Now here I'm joining the sound of t and u, and I say it as c'est un. Here I'm joining the sound of t and u again, and I pronounce it as c'est une. and the last one is sir sunde now the next question arises is how we are going to come to know which answer to use so for that you should know the gender of the noun so if my noun is mescula i will use seta and if my noun is femina i will use setur and if my noun is plural then i will use sir sunde so seta and setur means this is a this is a and so so they means these are so if the noun is masculine you will use seta if the noun is femina you will use setur and if it is plural you will use so so they let's see some examples for example pencil to pencil we say crayon now how you going to ask what is this you will say qu'est-ce que c'est and how you going to reply that this is a pencil you will say it as Seta crayon. Why seta? Because crayon is mescula. Now, if I'm talking about a scale, so to scale we say regular. And how you're going to say what is this? You will again say qu'est-ce que c'est. And how you will say that this is a scale? You will say it as setun regular. Why I have used here setun regular? Because my regular, that is scale, is femina. Now, for example, plural things are there. For example, books are there. Now, to plural books, I will say it as livre. 
I will write the S at the last but I am not going to pronounce it. So how are you going to ask what are these? Again you will say Kesk se. Now how you will say these are books? You will say Sir so de livre. And you know for plural we use this answer only Sir so de livre. So that I have used it. Now next if you want to ask who is this or who are these in French language. So how are you going to ask that? So if you want to ask who is this or who are these, again you just have one question in French that is Qui est ce? Qui est ce? You also repeat after, repeat after me and say Qui est ce? Now just like we had three replies to Qu'est-ce que c'est? In the same way we have the same three replies to Qui est ce also. That is C'est un, C'est une and Ce sont des. C'est un means this is a. C'est une also means this is a and sir so they means these are okay now seta you are going to use for masculine noun setun for feminine noun and sir so they you are going to use for the plural noun so let's see an example for example a boy now how to boy we say garso so how are you going to ask me who is this you will say ki yes sir and if you want to say that this is a boy you will say it as Seta garso. Why seta garso? Because garso is mescula. Next, for example, girl is there. To girl, we say fear. Now, how are you going to ask who is this? You will say ki es sir. Now, how are you going to say that this is a girl? You will say it as setun fear. Setun fear. Why I am using here setun? Because fear is femina. Now, for example, Plural children are there. For example, to kids or plural boys are there. I would say it as garso. Again, I'm going to write the S at the end, but the pronunciation will be same. That is garso. So how are you going to ask who are these? You will say ki es sir. And how you will reply? These are boys. You will say it as sir so de garso. Why sir so de garso? Because they are plural. That are more than one. Now the main difference between keskese and kiesa is that keskese you use for non-living objects, birds and animals and kiesa you use for human beings only. I hope you will remember it. Now let's move ahead and read out the text of the lesson. So it's written lesson katra and the name of the lesson is Devine. So let's read out the text. So in the picture you can see the boy and the girl are saying Bon anniversaire, that means happy birthday. And the boy is replying, Merci. So let's listen to the dialogues. So Anish says, Salut Manuel, bon anniversaire, that means hi Manuel, happy birthday. Manuel says, Merci beaucoup Anish, qu'est-ce que c'est? That means thank you very much Anish. What is it? Or what's this? And Anish replies, C'est un cadeau. C'est un cadeau, that means it's a gift. Manuel replies, C'est un livre? That means, this is a book? He's asking, is it a book? And he says, No, ce sont des chocolats. No, these are chocolates. Chocolat are chocolates. Then Manuel says, Ah, c'est gentil. That's nice. Et elle and she, Qui est ce? Who is this? Then Anish replies, C'est une amie. It's a friend. Elsa Pell Nadia. That means her name is Nadia. Let's move ahead to the next page. So on the next page, they have given the concept of Keskese and Kiesa. So Keskese means what is this or what are these? And Kiesa means who is this or who are they? So it's written Setun Shaz. Setun Shaz means it's a chair. Sir Sun de Livre. These are books. Setan Velo. It's a bicycle. Now it's written, say Napoleon. Say Napoleon, that means it's Napoleon. So from this, we come to know that whenever we know a name of a person, at that point, we don't use a or yun before it. For example, you want to say that it's Rohan. So you will just simply say, say Rohan. You will not use a or yun before it. So that's why it's written, say Napoleon. That means it's Napoleon. Then it's written, c'est un garçon. It's a boy. Ce sont des garçons. These are boys. 
So it's written, Ki hai sir means who is this, who are these, and it is used to find out about people that I told you that ki hai sir is used for human beings. So they have given some examples. Il repair de voiture. Il repair de voiture. He repairs the car. Repair is to repair. De voiture are the cars. Il est mécanicien. Il est mécanicien. He is a mechanic. So the question that you are going to ask for these replies will be ki hai sir. Then the second example they have given. Seta ami. Seta ami. It's a friend. Sir son des ami. Sir son des ami. These are friends. Okay. Now for these replies also, you will use the question ki hai sir. Then they have told you about keske se, which means what is this or what are these. And they have written that it is used to find out about objects or animals. Now animals means birds also. See, they have given a note at the last that for animals and birds, we use keske se. So let's read out the examples. The example they have given seta stilo. That means it's a pen. Sir, so de stilo. These are pens. So for both the replies, you're going to use the question kesk se. Then it's given seta uazu. What is an uazu? Uazu is a bird. That means it's a bird. Sir, so de uazu. Sir, so de uazu. That means these are birds. Now for both the replies, you're going to make the use of the question kesk se. I hope the concept of kie sir and kesk se was clear to you. Let's move ahead. Now on the next page, they have given you the vocabulary of fruits or you can say it as de fruit. De fruit means some fruits. So let's learn banana. To banana we say banan. And since it's femina, we will write down yun banan. Apple. To apple we say poem. And since it's also femina, I will write down yun poem. Orange. To orange we say orange. Now orange is also femina, so I will write down yun orange. Might be possible that in your book it's written a orange, but please correct it. It is yun orange. Then mango. To mango we say mong and it's also femina, so I will write down yun mong. Papaya. To papaya we say papai and it's also femina, so I will write down yun papai. Grape, here I'm talking about one grape, not grapes. So to grape, we say it as reza and one grape is mescula. So I will write down a reza. Cherry, that is ceres. Ceres is also femina. So I will write down yun ceres. Pineapple, to pineapple, we say ananas. And it's also mescula. So I will write down nanana, nanana. Lychee. To lychee, I will say it as lychee only and it's also mescula, so I will write down a lychee. Watermelon is pastek. Pastek is femina, so I will write down yun pastek. Strawberry. Strawberry, we say it as fraz. And fraz is also femina, so I will write down yun fraz. Peach. To peach, we say it as pesh. And pesh is also femina, so I will write down yun pesh. Plum. To plum we say prune and prune is also femina so I will write down yun prune. Date. To date we say it as dat and dat is also femina so I will write down yun dat. Now here if they have written grape. To grape they say it as a reza. But what if it's written grapes. So for grapes you will write down de reza. Okay. Now let's move ahead. Now, on the next page, they have given the vocabulary of the vegetables. To vegetables, we say de legume. De legume, that are some vegetables. Potato. To potato, we say pom de terre. That is femina, so I will say it as yun pom de terre. Cucumber. To cucumber, we say concombre. And concombre is an exception and it's mescula. It is un concombre. Eggplant. To eggplant, we say aubergine. Aubergine is femina, so I will say it as yun aubergine. Then they have given chili. To chili, we say it as pimo. And pimo is mescula, so I will write down a pimo. Next is tomato. To tomato, we say tomat. And tomat is also femina, so I will write down yun tomat. Then it's cabbage. 
to cabbage, we say shoe and it's mescula. So I will write down a shoe. P. Now listen to here. Listen to me. I'm writing down here P, not peas. So to one P, we say it as patit pua, and it's mescula. So I will write down a patit pua. Carrot. To carrot, we say carrot, and carrot is femina. So I will write down yun carrot. Cauliflower. To cauliflower, we say shoe fleur, and shoe fleur is mescula. So I will write down a shoe fleur. Onion to onion we say onion and it's mescula as well. So I will write down as a before it and it's pronounced as nunio. Then green bean, green bean we say it as aricot ver and it's mescula. So I will write down a aricot ver. Capsicum to capsicum we say puavro and puavro is also mescula. So I will write down a puavro. Green salad. To green salad, we say salad verd, and it's femina, so I will write down yun salad verd. Mushroom. To mushroom, we say champino, and champino is also mescula, so I will write down a champino. Now, on the next page, they have given you the numbers starting from twenty-one till hundred. So let's fastly read out the numbers from twenty-one to hundred. You also repeat after me. So it's ventia, weather, vetrua, vekatra, vesank, vesis, veset, vevit, venaf, trant, trantia, tranta, trantrua, trantkatra, trantsank, trantsis, transet, trantvit, trantnaf, karant. Karantia, karanda, karantrua, karantkatra, karantsank, karantsis, karantset, karantvit, karantna, senkant. Senkantia, senkanda, senkantrua, senkantkatra, senkantsank, senkantsis, senkantset, senkantvit, senkantna, suazant. Suazantia, suazanda, suazantrua, suazantkatra, suazantsank, suazantsis, suazant set, suazant wheat, suazant nav, suazant dees, suazant e ons, suazant doos, suazant tres, suazant catours, suazant cans, suazant says, suazant diset, suazant dees wheat, suazant de nav, quatre vet. Quatre e, quatre de, quatre trois, quatre quatre, quatre cinq, quatre six, quatre sept, quatre huit, quatre neuf, quatre dix, quatre onze, quatre douze, quatre treize, quatre quatorze, quatre quinze, quatre seize, quatre dix-sept, quatre dix-huit, quatre dix-neuf, and so. So, if you want to learn numbers with me in more detail, then do watch out my video that I have made specially on numbers. Now, in the last, they have given you a note related to numbers that in French, while writing numbers in letters, it is very, very important to put a hyphen in between the two digits. But in numbers like thirty-one, forty-one, fifty-one, sixty-one, and seventy-one, we use a, which means and, instead of hyphen. So you need to remember this. And one more important thing in numbers that it is only in the case of eighty number that with ve we write down an s. Whereas no s when it is followed by any other digit. Now let's read out the vocabulary fastly. So the vocabulary is given a navio that's airplane or aeroplane, a balo ball, yun bicycle, bicycle, yun chaise, chair, devine, guess, des étudiants, some students, yun fille, girl, yun fleur, that's flower, a garçon, boy. Qui est ce? Which means who is this or who are these? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Means what is this or what are these? Un règle, ruler, un vélo is a cycle. Une voiture, car, and professor is a teacher or you can say it as a professor as well. So with this, we have completed the lesson number four of a Prunel of Français method one book. So that was all for today. I hope all the concepts of the lesson was clear to you. So if you want to solve more books with me then stay connected to my channel by subscribing it and don't you forget to give your likes and your comments on my videos because your appreciation means a lot to me so till the time i post my next video 
और उबा एंड अभियान दो एंड यू नो इट वेरी वेल व्हाट डस और उबा मींस और उबा मींस गुड बाय एंड अभियान दो मींस सी यू सून